Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do number 50 on the CBEST elementary math practice test. If you've been following along, this is the 50th CBEST elementary math problem we've done so far. So congratulations to you for coming all the way and doing all 50. Let's look at this problem um, and use this as a way to explore some of those core math concepts that you're going to see on your elementary math teacher certification exams. The first thing I'll do is I'll read it over. It says use the graph below to answer the question that follows. And it gives you a graph that you have to study, take 30 seconds and study before reading on. Um, when you become more familiar with all these different types of graphs, charts, and tables, it's going to make answering these questions a lot easier. So let's take a close look at this one. We have an x-axis and a y-axis. On the x-axis is time. Years are going by in increments of 10 years. So every 10 years we have some information. And, and on the y-axis, the vertical axis, we have sales, sales in thousands of, uh, thousands of dollars. So this is uh, 1940, there was a $50,000. Uh, in 1960, there was uh, $200,000 worth of sales. So make sure, before even reading the question, that you can read the graph, or make sure you can read the chart or table, whatever they give you, make sure you can read it and you can pull out information. All right, that will help you when we come to actually reading over the question and solving it. So now I'll start with the reading over the question. It says, the graph shows the sales of a commodity over a 60 year period. Between what years did the sales increase by the greatest amount? And we have a range of years. And I'll go back to this graph here, I'll, I'll enlarge it. Make it nice and big. Which year did they, which 10 year period did they do the best in sales? The most amount of growth. There's a bunch of different ways to do this. One way is just a very, very um, practical uh, visual way. What I like to call it is the mountain way. When we think about increase, uh, we can think about it as the one that has the steepest slope. And I, when I think of slope, I think of mountains of skiing. Now this one right here, if we, we compare these first three ranges, this first hill, this is like a hill, it's not that steep. But this mountain is much steeper. The rate, the, the, uh, the slope on this one is much steeper. It's gonna be a much harder mountain to go up. And the steeper the slope, the greater the increase per year. And, and that helps me to see right away, just visually, that from 1950 to 1960, there was the greatest amount of growth. Or the strategy would be, the slope was the steepest, the mountain was the steepest, therefore, you know, this line here from here to here had the greatest slope. You could solve it in another way. You could, you could do it, you know, a more traditional way. You could be like, over this period, what was the, what was the rise to run relationship? We think of this as rise, and this is run. And we're thinking about the, the change in rise to run from 100 to 200 would be a rise of 100, and the run would be from 1950 to 1960, so the run would be 10. So we could think of this as having a slope of 10 over one. Again, we're thinking about rise to run relationship, rise to run, which one has the greatest slope? The rise on this one from 200 to 250 is just 50 over 10, so this one has a slope of five over one. Again, this one's got the greatest slope. We could do these for all these and we'd, we'd still see that this one has the greatest slope. And just, I think visually, you could kind of see that on your own, I'm hoping. But anyways, the, the, the range that had the greatest growth was from 1950 to 1960. You decide how you want to do this. You want to do it the mountain strategy and find it in 10 seconds? Or do you want to do it the rise to runway, which is just as good a way and definitely for the more complex problems, you're going to want to use rise to run, but not, nece not necessary to answer this question. Okay, team, the answer is B. I hope you enjoyed this video and this series on the CBEST. 
If you need more help on the math, you should definitely attend one of the Go Math teacher workshops. Um, I'm sure you'll find them very helpful, okay? All right, team, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.